What is up, Fight Fans? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm giving you my predictions for 1 167 stamp for Sambawanga, uh, which is coming up June 7th and Bangkok, Thailand. That's on Prime Video. That's where you can watch it. It's going to be a pretty good fight card. Uh, I've got my predictions down. These were actually not that difficult to make. I think I'm going to get like <laughs> over 75% accuracy on these predictions. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, first, thanks thanks to one for sending me this hat. Uh, if you haven't watched my video, they, I got a uh, $200 like gift bag from one for completing a survey. And this hat was included, so super cool. Um, also, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be at 1168 in Denver in September. Uh, giving you guys uh, as close to live updates as I can, getting some video while I'm there. And if you subscribe to the channel and like the video, you're going to get the notifications for me when I'm in Denver. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get to interview a fighter. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, 1167, Stanford Sambuanga. It's got a mixture of Muay Thai, MMA, and one submission grappling contest. So I'm going to start with the MMA fights first kind of in order of the ones I'm looking forward to uh, most. So, number one, Rod Tang versus Dennis Purich. This is, or sorry, this is not a Muay Thai fight. This is a kickboxing fight. I wish it was a Muay Thai fight. I don't know why they uh, went kickboxing, but whatever. Uh, prediction, Rod Tang. He is, you know, just one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters out there. Uh, he's 26 years old versus Dennis Purich, who is 39 years old. Not that Purich's age catches up with him or anything like that, but I think in the modern mixed martial arts martial arts fight scene, age does play a factor, and the younger fighter, generally speaking, will have an advantage when there is a large age gap. Um, but Rod Tang is also just you know an incredible fighter. So is. Purich, he's won the last his last two matches. Actually, let's see if this is the last three. I don't want to get that wrong. Um, yeah, his last two matches in one. Uh, the most recent one against Jacob Smith. That was a unanimous decision. Jacob Smith is a super tough fighter. Smith has fought Rod Tang. But anyways, in a kickboxing match um, where the strikes are not going to be as heavy hitting because they're in the bigger gloves... I think that takes away from where Purich would also, you know, have some sort of not necessarily advantage, but one of his strengths is he's just a heavy hitter. He's got one punch knockout power. He relies on that strength. And so in kickboxing, I know it's still, it's not fun getting hit with the bigger gloves, but it's less damaging than in the small gloves. And that's where Rod Tang's, you know, striking volume and legs are going to really give him an advantage in this fight, and that's why I predict him to win. I don't think uh, you make money going against Rod Tang. So that is my prediction. It'll be interesting to see the taunting if Rod Tang, you know, throws his guard down, sticks his chin out, and taunts Pirates, because I know Pirates gets mad. Uh, he, he definitely has a temper on him, and so seeing that would be awesome. So this is going to be a great fight. Uh, prediction Rod Tang to win that one. Next one that I want to talk about is uh, Johan Ghazali versus uh, Nguyen Tran Dui No from Vietnam. I hope I'm saying the name right. Um, Ghazali is the super young, like 17 year old Malaysian uh, Muay Thai fighter. They say he's very similar in style to Rod Tang. Uh, Nguyen is 35 years old. A uh, very experienced uh, Muay Thai fighter from Vietnam, recently actually just lost to uh, Purich, Dennis Purich. So who do I think is going to win? Again, I don't think you're going to make that much money uh, if you always consistently bet against Johan Ghazali. He's won, I think, uh, the last... Well, he's won all five matches he's had and won. The last one against Edgar Tabares uh, was a knockout in 36 seconds. So... Johan Ghazali, very strong Muay Thai fighter, uh, striking power, um, very tough, can absorb a lot of damage. I don't think uh, Nguyen can absorb that much damage, and that's where uh, Johan could knock him out in this fight. So he, that's my prediction to win. The next one, uh, Muay Thai, 
is Tawan Chai versus Smokin' Joe Nottawat. Uh, Tawan Chai has beat him before. Um, Smokin' Joe is a very good fighter, but I, this is, to me, this is kind of an obvious one that Tawan Chai is going to win. No disrespect to Smokin' Joe, but Tawan Chai is just next level. He is the world champion for a reason. He, if you ever seen some of his uh, training videos, the guy just goes hard, super fit. And I think he's going to win. Can't say much more about it than that. Then we have uh, another Muay Thai match. Liam Harrison versus uh, Katsuki Kitano. Uh, Kitano, I think, has only had one fight and one, but a um, very experienced Japanese fighter. Liam Harrison's last fight was like two years ago. He got knocked out by Nang O. Oh. I think he had a leg injury or a knee injury from that. And so it's been uh, kind of out of uh, the Muay Thai world for a bit, or Muay Thai fights for a bit, but coming back. And he's also weirdly got a match against Sexon at 168 in Denver. Uh, so he's going back to back, which, you know, hats off to him for that. I guess little hats off to him for that. But I think Harrison is going to win this one. Uh, he is older, I believe. Um, let me check that. Kitano... Is, they're saying he's 27 versus Harrison 38. This is one where I'm going to give the advantage to the older fighter. I think Harrison will have just more energy in the fight, more striking, more aggression, and will push push the offense and not be as on the back foot as much. So I think he is going to win this one. It could be a unanimous decision. I don't think it'll go knockout. I think it'll go the full three rounds. So those are my uh, Muay Thai fight predictions. Next, we'll move into the MMA, and we'll talk about Cade Rotolo making his MMA debut, debut versus Blake Cooper. Um, even though Blake Cooper has like a family background in MMA, um, and he's pretty good at wrestling, I do think Cade Rotolo is going to win. I think he's the stronger grappler, and if he can, if he can get the fight to the ground, um, he could submit Blake Cooper. Uh, when you if you watched Blake Cooper's match against Marisa Bevy, Cooper early on early on was trying to go for the takedown um, using his wrestling background. A Bevy was striking, throwing kicks out. He got a really good sense of Cooper's timing and was able to just disrupt his game in his offense and push that and he got a knockout uh Maurice bevy very good fighter as well but i think Cade rotolo is just going to come out strong in his mma debut i think he's you know in submission grappling you can't strike your opponent now he can grapple and strike his opponent like why wouldn't he win this one if he's top level grappler he's just going to add strike into his game i'm sure he's done it before it's uh i think Rotolo is going to win this one. And uh, next, I'll predict the headline fight. So, so far, I think I've picked all the favorites to win. If I said Tawan Chai, Rod Tang, Ghazali, uh, Harrison, Rotolo. This is one where I'm not picking a favorite to win. I do think Denise Zambawanga is going to beat Stamp. Can't tell you why, though. Just a gut feeling. Just a pure gut feeling. That's what I'm going with. We'll see how that turns out. Not that I'd put money on that one. You don't make money betting against Stamp very often. And Stamp has beat uh, Ham Seo, the Korean fighter. Um, Zambuanga has lost twice to her. So if you believe in that kind of like, the I can beat this opponent who's beat this opponent, then Stamp should win this match. But for whatever reason, my gut feeling tells me Zambuanga is going to win. I could be wrong. And lastly... The submission grappling match. This one should be very interesting. Mikey Musumeci versus Gabriel Sousa from Brazil. Um, Sousa has beat Musumeci before in 2021 and has submitted him in a grappling match. That was back in 2021. Fast forward to now, I think Musumeci has improved enough and he is going to win this match. So those are my predictions for 1167 stamp for Sambawanga. Let's see how I do. I think I like I said, I could get 
75% or higher on this accuracy or not. We'll see. All right, see you guys.